Hey everybody, and welcome back to a another episode of Fall of Fall. So in this episode, I am going into the Glowing Sea, or at least I'll be starting to make my way there. I just had to come here to collect the power armor. Uh, I'm almost po like, actually, I do have the hazmat armor, which is like plus a thousand rad resistance, but the power armor will be far more helpful once I repair it. Simply because, other than, like, it's not just radiation out there, there's, uh, uh children of atom, um, death claws, feral ghouls. So on top of, uh, you know, surviving the radiation, I will also need to survive everything else. Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, like everything else. Uh, So I just need five aluminium, and I got some Tesla bracelet, uh, braces, and a shit ton of, you know, upgrading and leveling up. But other than that, I just got, I just need aluminium and I can create a very badass looking power armor suit. Uh, alright, that's not perfect, but it'll have to do. Right, I need to get here somewhere. Data. Now, uh, that's kind of misleading because I th that's not where it is. I'm sh almost positive that's the glowing sea. I think I just have to go there because that's where I have to start out from. Oh, that was the closest bit. The closest is... Uh, ah, Vault 81, actually. Cool. I'll go there and make my way. And being level 25, I should be, like, at a decent point. Level-wise, to handle this. This comes the worst. I can just pump more p points into intelligence, I guess. <laughs> and then level up even faster. Alright, I've only got one fusion core left. What was that? Did I hear something roar or make noises? Okay, let's not hang around and find out. I do eventually want to get to level 40 just so I can build one of those fusion reactors for my settlement. Won't have to worry then about power. That thing generates about 100. So just build that for Sanctuary Hills and I can put all the generators I have there into storage and move them to the other settlements then. All in all, it's a good plan. Just getting to level 40 and putting the points in the right places when I level up. Alright. 
Oh shit, no. Oh, I know that noise. I'm not going there. Screw that. I'd rather brave <laughs> the rats. Brave the... I can't run underwater, can I? Nah, that's fine. This should usually be about like 10, 15. It's only about 4, 5 rads. Which isn't too bad. Don't these guys give me a quest? I'm sure there's a this is a this is like an actual radio station 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 station. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Hey. I'm Anne Hartley. George and Rex and I run this radio station. George, Rex is in trouble. Didn't you hear him on the radio? For the tenth time. Yes. What do you want me to do about it? Super mutants would kill me in seconds. Rex got himself into this mess. He'll have to figure out how to get out of it. I'm worried about Rex. Those super mutants are so brutal. I suppose you want me to go help him. Oh, I thank you for offering. I'm ever so grateful. What do you do here? I used to make the costumes for our plays. Back when we still put on live shows. But that became too dangerous. So now I'm just one of the actors in Rex's radio plays. How would you like to work for me as a seamstress? Uh, send it to Sanctuary Hills. That does sound interesting. Okay, I'll do it. I think I'll enjoy making clothing again. That didn't take long to convince her. Let's trade. I don't want to trade. George Cooper. I want to trade a few things. Oh no, I remember. You can get uh you can get Preston's colonial outfit. Colonial Ranger outfit, whatever it is. Um from her. But you have to build a clothing stall, like a like a top top of the range clothing stall and uh, put it to work at on it and then you can buy that outfit from her which I can do in the future then again I'm not that much not really much of a rush to get that outfit I remember it didn't offer too much uh, resistance against anything like five I think I know there's a perk where you can increase all the base uh, base stats of like clothing so, you know, I think it's like, when you, when you fully upgrade that perk, that goes from 5 points in defense to about 25. So there's that, I guess. Ah, Rad Scorpion. The poorly animated Rad Scorpion. Yeah, I'm not fighting that thing. going to take all the endurance and ingenuity I have to get through the glowing sea. So I am not stopping to fight every rad scorpion I see. Oh, for God's sakes. And I'm almost out of power. Great. I may end up ditching this in the glowing sea, which I don't want. This was actually kind of creepy the first time I played this. Just you, you get from like what is technically civilization and then you get here and it's just... 
this just wreckage and burnt ground and the further you get the more like you know horrible it gets like eventually you just start walking into a radiation storm Okay, that's not too bad. I am weathering the rads. And Beacon's back. Yay! Oh, balls. I ain't fighting death balls. Fuck that. You go, Deacon. Are they coming for me? Oh fuck, they are actually coming for me, aren't they? Ah! Nope, they're fighting blood flies. Okay, I'm out of... Ah, uh, giant rad scorpion, you gotta be shitting me. Uh, I don't wanna fight these things. I have, like, enough power to get there. Maybe. Where am I going? Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, that's still quite a distance to travel. I'm guessing a nuke went off here, like an atom bomb, given that this looks on the map anyway to be a crater. Ah good, the children of atom. Crater of atom. have some provisions on offer for a price what is this place this is where we commune with Adam himself I am surprised you have survived long enough to reach it I'm looking for someone named Virgil Virgil yes we know this Virgil what do you want with him yeah, it means we I just need some information from him I see in truth this Virgil has caused some concern some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. Aha. Uh -huh. Success. It's just a case of climbing out of this crater now.
Nope. Nope. Oh my god. They are quick, aren't they? Get away! Be gone. Ah, oh, I still got distance to run. Ah, I don't want to fight these guys. I don't want to waste the ammo. Okay, never mind. They give up. Good. Or well, either that or they're going after Deacon. Which is also good. I don't think it's seen me. Nope, it's seen me. Hello, guys. Hello. Oh, he's big. Okay. Bye bye. Cave is up here somewhere. I know it is. Where is it? Where is it? Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, I don't think the cave is big enough for that thing to follow me in. Which is good. I just have to worry about when I leave here. And serve. Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg? Huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they sent him after me. Are you Virgil? You know damn well I am. What are you doing here? You're a super mutant. Yes. Clearly you have functioning eyes. Congratulations. I'm hoping you didn't come here just to point that out. Now what do you want? Can you tell me about the Institute or not? The Institute? So... They did send you, didn't they? You're working with Kellogg. Why are you so afraid of Kellogg? Do you have any idea what that man has done? What the Institute pays him to do? It's all off the books stuff. The man is a killer. And he's very good at what he does. <laughs> but Kellogg's been taken care of. Dead. He's... Dead. Don't you lie to me. Is it so hard to believe? Of course it is. Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? Can you tell me anything about the Institute? I need to get in there. Can I? Are you joking? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? Would you believe the Institute kidnapped my son? Oh, yeah. I'd... I'd believe that. Wouldn't be the first time. Look, I'm... Sorry. Really sorry. I didn't know. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help. But I'm going to need something in return. You help me and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. All right? 
Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? A courser? What's that? Another Institute secret. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do. And you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. What do I need to do? Listen up. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT directly above the Institute, so you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pimp boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Alright. <laughs> Souvenir, plastic bowl. And flight to the Valkyries? Alright. Uh, ah, oh, it's Deacon. I was like, whoa, who the hell is that? Ah, I can't wait until, like, Q re comes. I'm sure that was the name of the robot from Vault 81. Alright, so, let me check this. Hunter hunted. Travel to CIT. Uh, I'm probably going to fast travel to Sanctuary Hills first, though. I want to get rid of this suit because I don't want to run out of power when I'm running around town. Alright, back to Sanctuary. And then I'll head over to CIT. Which is, funny enough, also where Mr. House from New Vegas went to university. <laughs> Random little fact there for you. The Commonwealth CIT, or the Boston, Massachusetts uh, Center for something. Uh, center for uh, cent cent Central Institute for Technology or something like that. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. 
Okay, so where's the closest point I got? See the <laughs> the wreck, the USS Riptide, well, the Cambridge Polymer Labs. No, right, Cambridge Polymer Labs. I have no idea how this is going to go. I am going to be calling. I'm going to get to CI. Uh, I'm going to get to the CIT, like the ruins of the CIT, and then I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Um, huh, that, I don't know, that just seemed a bit long, like a longer walk, for some reason. Apparently it wasn't. And, e course the signal, found. Alright, this is a bit of a bitch, I remember this. Uh, it's not actually in here, is it? It's like, I know where it is roughly, it's like Masigna Plaza. Because this is uh, the quest I got, where I had to start playing it the last time. Like my first playthrough of this, I got this far, because this is actually the quest the glitch affected the most because the glitch only comes into it uh, you c the building I have to get to you can't enter until this quest activates and when this quest activates it moves a chunk of debris away from the main door from the building and this in uh, the, the glitch basically prevents that from happening uh, so as a result Whenever you enter the radius of the building, like near the building, the game just crashes straight away. That gunfire sounds promising. Oh! Oh wow. That's not a bad gun. Ah, it is, it is this way. It seems. Nope. This way? Nope. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh my god, it's getting worse. What's going on? This way. Sort of? Oh god. No. Go back this way. Halfway. Oh, that's uh, that's promising. That's jumping up quite a bit now. That's the building. So basically, I wouldn't even get this close to it. In my first playthrough, when the game just crashes every time. Green attack genetics. There we go. 
yeah, so if you pass through here in uh, the beginning of the game, which I did on my second playthrough, I came straight here. There's a big bunch of crap debris just up against this door. And so when I want to go and talk to Virgil, that's when the game world changes and everything here changes. Uh, I'm getting rid of this signal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is call this episode to an end. And in the next one, I'm going in that building. I'm going to kick ass and, you know, rip that thing out of the courser. That's for the next episode. If you could leave a like, hit the comment section below. Anything you like, and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you like the video, throw some support down there. It all helps, analytically. And if you feel up to it, hit that subscribe button. I'll try and put one in the end screen, so it'll probably be appearing about now, or close to it. And, uh, yeah, just hit that subscribe button, and you can keep up to date with all the rest of this walkthrough. For now, though, that's pretty much it. God bless you for getting this far. Until next time, you take care of yourself. And have a great day.